I would like to welcome everyone to my new episode related to Bitcoin's price analysis and technical details. As usually, we're going to take a look at the markets from the rational standpoint. Today, considering the one-day candlesticks having a perspective on a overview of a longer term, therefore, the data which has to be approached will be the main source of our discussion, including certain ways of running the analysis. Let's get into the topic, guys, with a market cap nearly around $1.9 trillion. BTC is suffering today, just like the altcoins. Nothing special around the corner, but there's something very interesting that Bitcoin is having, even though yesterday lost more than Ethereum, which is something that is not usually happening. This is most likely giving us a sign that we have the movement of the BTC first on a heavy energy that is usually finalized in the altcoins with a high pressure at the end of the funnel of the selling momentum. Going forward basically with our chart, this is what I'd like to address today like I said on the one day candlesticks and uh, we're looking at the contextual situation right here on the right side of the screen. We do have a variety of movements that clearly determines an uptrend. The uptrend, uh, it is orientated in a um, direction that doesn't have a degree of heavy force, which means that our uptrending channel lines, whether we talk about both resistance or support, do not have a degree angle making them aggressive. This is something that I would consider as highly decent in terms of force. Therefore, this cannot be categorized as a heavily uptrending movement at all. Yet, this is basically happening after a significant sort of a way downtrending environment that lasted for 75 days on the space of the BTC. Once you get a search pattern, it's clear that the ups and downs of the limits of the channels are the places that we're trading in between with position trading and swing trading. So we have the upper side, which is the resistance line here that I've been talking about that has been touched a few times and it acts very, very accurately, just like how the uptrending channel support line behaves in which we have a price gap at the moment. So my question is, if we're going to fill up this specific price gap, get rid of around $37,000, where we're going to meet up with the uh, support line where a bouncing is going to be expected, just like it happened in the past every time we did that touch. This is the ultimate level, guys. And by the way, there is a trending line um, that is squeezing up the charts a little bit. And for the day, it looks like this. Right. So I'm, you know, assuming that this trending line as of now, it's pretty much lost. And that's the other version of it. So the only one that has remained and it's valid, it's the ultimate and it's pretty strong with a great reaction. And each of the cases uh, is the one that I'm mentioning right here. Well, it would have three touches on the resistance, three touches on the bottom. A great entry is here around $37,000 for the BTC in terms of longing it. Um, shorting it right now is obviously representing a potential danger because you're actually clearly um, close to the support here uh, compared to the distance you have from the resistance pressure. There is also two significant places where you can expect the markets to um, act with pressure against the bulls and that's located on the heavy resistance pressure brew zone that I made which has been confirming here nicely and then we have the golden pocket which will be visited clearly it will be visited after we are taking the liquidity from the gap uh, the liquidity pocket is right here tons of money located there with the assumption that the liquidity volume will spike us towards the uptrending channel resistance lies somewhere around here uh, clearly around fifty thousand dollars would be the great move so this is how the picture is portrayed for the moment in the way it looks like in a nutshell 
Um, definitely something to be considering for our trading journey. Uh, nothing we can do from our uh, day trading or swing trading standpoint with this specific charts of the daily candles. This is always and always considering at least, you know, one month period of time up to months and months or years, depends how much you zoom out and how do you address towards the uh, problem. But the idea, however, at the end of the day is that we are in a zone right now that has been punished by the heavy resistance pressure uh, and the momentum is downwards. That's pretty much all guys. For those of you looking to learn how to trade, which is a complex activity, I do have my um, coaching that is one to one directly with me on live conversations. This is basically on my page scramblecoaching.com where you have uh, the description and explanation on how it works. There's this video explaining it. You can watch that and register now if you think um, this is something interesting for you. It's an intensive private coaching running directly with me on live conversations on Zoom, making sure that I teach you how to trade. I've been trading since 2014. And I think that the person that wants to be a trader needs to have a highly specific mind along with a very well organized trading career that has dozens of details and ways of doing it right, as well on limited ways of doing it wrong that we must know about. So in a nutshell, you can find out more right here and then just I'll get back to you on your email to make the offer. And for those of you looking to join the API trading based on commission, well, we have at scramblecoaching.com slash today. And by the way, all the links are located in the description area or comments area of this video. On the left side of the screen, you have the trading performance. And then on the right side of the screen, you have the way it works and how you can join. There's no upfront fees. There's nothing out of like that. It's just commission out of the pure profits achieved uh, by me trading for you guys. So, uh, you know, bottom right corner explains how you can join and you can read around the page to find out more. That's pretty much all for my video, guys, for today. Have a beautiful time and we'll talk to you soon.